Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another 7 days of Zodiac video hashtag 7 dollars on social media. Don't forget to join the conversation on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, hashtag your 7 dollars selfie or a snapshot of me like you watching me on Instagram and you'll be featured as the shadow of the video. So, um, moving on, as you guys know, it's 7 straight Zodiac videos in a week. So, today's topic of discussion is actually very simple but something I get requested a lot. People want to know my opinions on signs, like just my opinion. A lot of people ask me just to make a video on what I think about each sign. So I'm going to say the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm going to be super honest. I'm just going to tell you my thoughts on each sign and what I think they're like and yeah, it's very simple. Okay, so don't forget to follow me on social media, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and let's get into the video. Alright, so we're going to start with Aries, I guess just because, I don't know, they're first, so why not. Um, Aries. My opinion on Aries, you guys, are super cool. You guys seem like a dream come true when um, someone first meets you. Um, you seem perfect, like there's nothing wrong with you. It's like, oh, this person's fun, they're chill, they're funny, they're not overdramatic, they're not attention-seeking. Everything about you just seems great. It's like you're too good to be true. And then the real side of you comes out once you get really close to an Aries. If you don't get close to an Aries, which is pretty often, um, they they just always seem perfect. Like They just seem to have this aura around them that just attracts you and everybody else. They're like snake charmers. Like Everybody just wants to be around an Aries. It's really, really weird. I don't know how they do it. They're usually quite attractive. Um, they're just like cool people. They're hot-headed. They are really, really angry sometimes. You can't control them. You can't you know, rationalize with them at times. Um, however, when you fight with one, if you're a true friend or lover, then they do um, see your perspective and they'll apologize when they're wrong. Like, they're really reasonable signs, but sometimes when they're really angry, there's just no reasoning with them. Like, there's none at all. They're loyal people. If you want to know how they are as a friend, watch my last Seven Dogs video card up above. Um, yeah, they're loyal people. They're really cool. They just attract a lot of people around them. Um, in relationships, they tend to cheat at times if they're not fully satisfied. And um, as friends, they're loyal, but just don't mess with them. Um, they're pretty cool people. I really like them. Yeah, they're chill. Next sign is the Taurus. Tauruses are just the kind of person you want to have in your life just to bring stability into your life. They're lifelong friends, lifelong partners, loyal people. You don't really have to second guess them or their motives or their intentions with you. They're just good people in general, very helpful. Um, they can be quite lazy, like I know that's a stereotype and everybody gets so mad if someone brings it up, but I've met a lot of lazy Taurus. I've also met a lot of hard-working Tauruses, but the thing is like Taurus will find the easy way to do something as opposed to like the hard way, but they'll still get it done. So like don't think that the Taurus is sitting around eating um, and lying around. No, like they get shit done. They just take the easy way out. So like whatever, to each their own. Um, they do love food, 100% given. I have a friend who's a Taurus and she doesn't eat at all. But other than her, all Tauruses I know love food. Um, they can't see their faults. They can't see when they're wrong. It's just really hard for them to admit it. They like the finer things in life. They like good smells, good foods, good clothing quality, good looks, everything. They're just, they like the finer things in life. They're all about pleasure. They're all about the senses. Like, they're just very sensual people, um, pleasure-seeking people, kind people. They don't get angry often, but when they do, beware the bull. Not to sound corny, but just like, be careful. Just don't, don't piss them off, you know? Just don't piss them off. Um, going on to Gemini. Geminis are really cool, really open-minded, super sick people. I love them. Um, I like the loner types, as I mentioned. There is that loner type of Gemini that's just super like chill and low-key and they don't really want to talk to anybody. They just chill in the room and smoke weed all day. Um, those are the kind of Geminis that I like. I don't really like the out there extra ones that are attention-seeking because Geminis tend to be quite attention-seeking and it drives me insane. I don't like that kind of Gemini. It's too much for me. They can be very fake and two-faced. Both kinds of Dem Geminis are pretty two-faced. They just have different personalities and it's really confusing. Um, their temper is just annoying sometimes, but overall I really love Geminis. I feel like they're just like, they're just chill. Like they're just down for anything. They're super fun and goofy and just lovable. Like I, I really like Geminis. Um, what else is there about them? They are, well they're funny. I think I said that. They're funny and there's more to meets the eye than them like a lot of people tend to think they're like ditzy or dumb or something but they're not like 
they're way more open-minded and like interesting than you think it's really really surprising at times because you wouldn't you just wouldn't expect it i don't know i don't know how to describe it all right so moving on to cancer a lot of people think i hate cancers i don't i'm rising cancer um and i've had pretty good experiences with them i mean a couple bad ones but overall i like cancers i just think they're too emotional for me they're just so sappy you know and they just act so snobby like they think that they're better than you and it's like we both know you're insecure. I'm not saying every cancer is insecure because there's a lot of confident cancers, don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying there are a lot of insecure cancers and they always come across as snobby, conceited, and this and that and the other, but they're not. And it's like this whole facade they put up and it's like, why do you have all the energy to be doing all that? Like, just <laughs> chill. Um, so like cancers, I like them, but I just don't like that front they put up. But I tend to like break through their cancer shell. I think it has to do with my rising cancer and get to know the real them. And when I get to know them, I really love them. Really caring people, really considerate, quite manipulative very moody very hard to get out of the house so hard to get out of the house like when you, when you have a cancer out it's like a freaking celebration it's like we need to document this take some pictures and just like <laughs> we got a cancer out of the house like it's crazy sometimes like and the thing with cancer is like a lot of people think they're shy they're not shy they're just introvert if I, I don't know if that makes sense i know that sounds contradictory but like you can be introverted but not be shy like they're they just like to be home they're home bodies they like to be in their little shell in their home in their room um but when they're out they're a good time as long as um things go their way <laughs> um as long as things go their way they're good if you meet them in like a social function or something they're very talkative and friendly super friendly you're gonna like them right away um you don't feel awkward awkward with them you don't feel anything like that like it's just easy conversation flows it's great it's great it's wonderful moving on to the Virgo, leo leo so leos um you guys know my thoughts on them uh but this is a video on my thoughts so i'm gonna repeat it because you clicked on this video knowing i don't like leos i think they're super annoying and i think they're just like they just think the world revolves around them Oh, the ruling planet, I'm pretty sure it's the sun. So all the planets revolve around them. All the planets revolve around the sun. That's why they are the way that they are. They're crazy. They just think that... They're just, oh my god, like, the god, they're so self-centered. Um, apart from that, they are kind of shallow. But um, they do have some depth to them. None of them are really stupid. A lot of Leos are very smart people super motivated super driven they get shit done they get it done like don't mess with the leo's drive there's no point because they get it done and they're gonna prove you wrong if you ever doubt them any of that like they are hard workers if you're an employer and you want to hire someone i strongly recommend you go for a leo if they put their birthday on their resume hire the leo because you're gonna have a hard worker who wants to succeed and show you that you made the right decision in hiring them leos are just great 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 when it comes to like their work ethic and everything um other thoughts on them are that they are really entertaining people they are the life of the party they are they're great storytellers they always have crazy stories for you they always have crazy nights out that they're gonna invite you to they always have a lot of friends um i just feel like a lot of times leos feel empty inside because i feel like they don't build real connections because they always want to make themselves kind of seem better than to people because they want to show the best version of themselves to people so they kind of they're always working hard to have people like them and it kind of gets draining for them so they don't really make real relationships at times um obviously this is there there are many exceptions for this like the many exceptions but i feel like a lot of the times leos have so many friends so many friends of popular people but they don't have many genuine friends if any they don't usually have genuine friends around them unless it's like a friend since like birth or since like their childhood it's really hard for them to make really good strong connections virgos are really cool people over analyzers over analyzers for sure um they are constantly thinking about everything they overthink everything and it's just it's a lot it kind of drives them insane um they're the life of the party as well they're so fun super funny they don't really care what people think about them um very creative people um more to meet the eye when you see a virgo virgos are usually attractive and charming and flirty so you think that they're just like you know not airheads but you just kind of think that they're just there but no they are not hollow they have so much depth to them they are very smart and they 
like I said, they're always overthinking, so they don't miss a thing. They don't miss a thing. Like, they know what you're thinking half the time, they know what you're gonna do, they know your next move, like, they watch. They watch more than you think. Um, they're super interesting people. I really like to see a Virgo in action. Um, I like people watching a lot, and Virgos are super fascinating to watch because they're just so, like, all over the place. They have, like, a scatterbrain. Um, but overall, they're, like, super cool people. Um, I like them. They're usually creative, so I vibe with the Virgos really well. They are sneaky, though, and they can be thieves at times, but overall, I think they're good people. And they're open-minded, they take interest in your interests, and they try and make the effort to understand what you're into and what your beliefs are, and they can have real conversations with you, so I like them a lot. Libras, super open-minded people, super, um, you can find a lot of spiritual Libras, surprisingly. Um, Libras are just, like, cool in general, like, they're just chill, like, nothing bothers them, nothing makes them mad, nothing worries them, they're just there, like, they're just, like, relaxed and always, they're just, like, Libras are just cool like I don't know how to describe them like I just I know so many and I just always think like man like I wish I was as calm as a Libra like I'm not at all um but they're super calm and just like chill I don't know how else to describe them they're really funny people very good sense of humor um they don't think take things too personally they avoid conflict so they're never really fighting with people they never have drama in their life like they basically never have drama super open with you super open-minded um they're the kind of person if they like cheat on you they're probably gonna tell you because they can't live with it because they're so open i don't know i just like libras you guys know i like libras i always mention it i just think that they're just so open and you can have such an easy flowing conversation with them like i told you guys about that one time i met someone and i sat down with him for three and a half hours and we just talked about life spirituality deep shit so we had an awesome conversation that flowed like that as if we had been friends for years but we had met three hours prior like we literally met and we just start talking about life it was really cool yeah so libra is the kind of person that you can do that with they're super easy going super chill fun yeah <laughs> um scorpios are trouble they're trouble they're the kind of person that if your daughter brings home a scorpio friend even if you don't know their son obviously you're gonna look at her and be like she looks like trouble i don't trust her you know how parents do that or if you're a parent you know how you do that you look at your fr kids friends and you're like mm -mm, i don't like that girl she's trouble Scorpios are usually the one. It's I think it's the eye contact. It's that eye, intense eye contact that they make with you. Um, it's not just that though. They just have this badass aura. I don't know what it is. Um, it's not like a real thing. I'm just saying like, you know, like a vibe. Um, so they're just like, they're just trouble. Like they're always, they're always getting into trouble. It's freaking Scorpios. Um, they cannot be messed with. Um, do not mess with with a Scorpio. Overall though, they're fun people, they're very loving, overly loving, I can't really be friends with them because they're too much for me, they're suffocating for me. Um, and I'm not like that, I'm an Aquarius, you know, as heartless Aquarius, um, so I, I just, I can't deal with it, I can't, but um, it's okay, they're cool, they are super friendly. If you work with a Scorpio, um, you're probably going to become friends with them on day one because they're really talkative, and they're the kind of people that like ask you to hang out the first day you meet them, but it's like not weird because you're like, this person is nice, I'd actually hang out with you, and then later on you realize they're like mm, the devil, but before then you're like, oh, this person's really cool, I really like them. So that's a Scorpio for you, depending on your compatibility with them, because of my compatibility, I later on discover that they're like secretly the devil, and I'm like, I don't want to mess with you anymore. But um, most people tend to really like them and gravitate towards them. Like, Scorpios attract a lot of people. They're like a magnet. Scorpios are literally like a magnet. Um, yeah. Moving on to Sagittarius. Sagittariuses are super cool, super chill. You can talk about anything with them. They can get very possessive of their friends, their lovers, their siblings, whoever, their kids. Very possessive very jealous they get crazy they get crazy um however they will stick up for you defend you if need be other than that um they're just like cool people in general i always feel like they are low-key really sad but they come across as, like that bubbly happy person that like everybody loves but inside they're just like super messed up in the head but they don't want to come to terms with it and they don't want to admit it but like they know it's true but like no one else thinks it of them because it's like the last person you'd expect it from because it they're really good at deceiving people um that was a lot i know um yeah so i feel like that's a sagittarius for you i feel like they're very good at playing a certain role and coming across a certain way because they have this desire to just be liked so everybody thinks they're perfect and amazing but inside they have this resentment towards others because they expect certain things but they don't vocalize it or they don't say anything because they just want to seem like they're chill they're relaxed they don't expect it. you know what i mean like I don't know, they ha they usually have a resentment inside of them for something or someone. Um, 
that's my opinion i'm not a sag so i don't know um overall they're pretty cool people very chill um they know how to control their temper to a certain extent but once it pops off it pops off and you're done for um super considerate people will literally like do anything for you if they love you enough and um they're funny they're really funny people really funny people they're just like cool in general you can have conversations with them about anything i really like the fact that they're just open-minded to talk about whatever wherever whenever you know what i mean like they're just chill people and be like oh let's go here and they're like yeah i'm down let's go um they don't care they're just chill <laughs> all right so now we're going on to capricorn capricorns are hard workers great at saving money great at getting what they want um very aggressive people very nice people um they like to seem like they want the best for you but they won't go out of their way to help you get there if they can do something to help you because they don't really care to help you um other than that though they're just like really friendly and mature people um they're really good in social situations no. they can be very awkward at times i've met way more awkward capricorns than i have met um like non-awkward ones um they make you uncomfortable <laughs> but um other than the awkward capricorns there are some really cool capricorns that like talk about um that can have good conversations with you i wouldn't say amazing conversations they're not like a libra or sad or anything like that but um they're pretty chill they're easygoing they can be really silly which you wouldn't expect because they don't seem to have that side of them but they do like you really wouldn't expect it but they do um, they get like really goofy and silly, especially when they're in love. You see a whole when a Capricorn's in love, they fucking ch they freaking change. It's like who is that? Like what happened? Like it's so weird. Um, yeah, Capricorns um, are good lovers when their relationships very corny and cheesy, which you would not expect, but um, it takes a while for them to get there because they don't open up to just anybody. They don't open up to, like, anyone, to be honest. Um, they don't show the real side of themselves to many people. So if you see it, then I think you should be really grateful because, honestly, it takes a while, let me tell you. Aquarius, you guys know I'm an Aquarius. Um, my thoughts in Aquarius, overthinkers, over, 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 overthinkers. They're like the Virgos when it comes to that. And I'm Aquarius and Virgo, so, like, my thoughts are a mess. Um, a lot of Aquariuses are weird, we all know this. <laughs> We're weirdos, we are weirdos. Emotionally distant, takes forever to get into relationships, if we ever do get in one. Um, we are heartless sometimes, and we don't want to be, like, literally, when we're being heartless, we know we're being heartless, and we just tell ourselves, why are we being like this? Why can't we just be nicer? And then it just doesn't work, and it's just, like, this thing that goes on in our mind, and it really fucking sucks. Um... Aquariuses are kind of like we're just like weird we never know what we want but we act like we do um great friends super amazing friends funny people very quirky creative creative people very creative people super intuitive super intuitive you cannot lie to one number one because they analyze so much that they know everything number two because their intuition is insane I swear like every Aquarius is like low-key psychic it's crazy um so like don't even try lying to an aquarius we know we're brutally honest we're blunt we don't lie we'll always tell it how it is whether you like it or not sometimes our opinions can be too much because people they're not ready um and we also voice our opinions when nobody asks and we get a lot of okay but i didn't ask you kind of like things we get a lot of people saying to us like um i don't remember asking you kind of thing like we always voice our opinions when nobody gives a shit um we are selfish though we hate to admit it we're hypocritical super hypocritical but we're fun and attractive and nice and we are introverted extroverts it's really weird we're like the life of the party but we're also like never at the party it's like super super strange but it works um pisces last sign you guys are super emotional super caring considerate but you do have two sides to you you can turn to the devil real quick um if you don't know what i'm referring to watch my 10 things about the pisces video because i go really in depth on the two sides of the pisces kind of like how they're manipulative but they're also super sweet and caring um they are really funny people everyone loves a pisces it's like whenever you go out with the pisces like 10 different people fall in love with them and ask for their numbers and just want to be with them forever and ever and ever because they have such a lovable 
attractive personality that you just gravitate towards it's crazy like you just fall in love with Pisces like in general all Pisces I just love them all they're super cool um, they also have a very strong intuition as well they're quite the spiritual sign they're into things like tarot cards and um, astrology and stuff like that and um, they're very open-minded so you can talk about anything with them super super creative oh my gosh they are so creative I wish I could write like a Pisces um they're just like lovable beings like you can't help but fall in love with the Pisces I'm not saying romantically but I'm saying in general just fall in love with their spirit with them as a person because they're just such great people so caring they want the best for you they never ever want to see you fail they are not like that they're just great people until you cross them or until they're in a dark place in life then they might take some stuff out on you as I mentioned in my previous video um but yeah that's the Pisces for you and that concludes the video on the 12 zodiac signs and my thoughts on them so I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you found it relatable make sure to let me know also I want to give a shout out of the day to lunatic raccoon girl sh <laughs> you have been here since like I don't even know like 100 subscribers 200 subscribers like she's been here I remember seeing her red hair her hair is yellow now <laughs> as the hashtag says um I remember seeing her red hair on my pictures so long ago you go to my first Q&A she asked questions and it, like she's been here since like I think like 200 100 200 subscribers correct me if I'm wrong but yeah shout out to you she featured um my hashtag on Instagram on her selfie which is really cute by the way and she tagged me and everything so if you guys want to be a shout out of the video then make sure to tag me because I still have a couple more left to record thank you so much girl for showing some love and for being here for so long I'm so happy to see you still around and yeah that's basically it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay cute bye guys in my head every time I take a step it's on the cloud